we tend to think that it's better to always have more speed. In reality, to be the fastest on the track, you need to adapt your speed to the situation. The first reason to reduce your speed is to adapt to the track. Here, we see the example of two very different tracks. The first is rather small and very narrow in some parts. The second is very large and most corners are wide. The best way to adapt your speed is to change your gear ratio. Since the beginning of the video, I have said that you need to modify your speed. But what you are really trying to modify is your torque and therefore your acceleration. The gear ratio is given by this formula, or equal to minus z pinion on z ringer with R the reduction ratio, Z pinion the number of pinion teeth, and Z wing gear the number of wing gear teeth. Let's take the example of a 1053 mini Z. The ratio is 0.19. We can do this calculation on a whole range of pinions. Now let's look at the effect of the gear ratio. The higher the R, the higher the speed, and the lower the acceleration. We say that the reduction ratio is low. The lower the R, the lower the speed, and the higher the acceleration. We said that the reduction ratio is high. This graph shows the effect of the gear ratio. If we take a car with a high gear ratio, we can see that it reaches its maximum speed very quickly. If the same car uses a lower gear ratio, it will have a higher maximum speed, but will take longer to reach it. If we look at the 0 to 0 0.8 second range, we can see that the car with a lower top speed will be faster. If we go back to the first track, we see a lot of areas where you need to slow down a lot to pass efficiently. Here, if you take a gear ratio that's too low, for example, a 14.53, you will be slower than someone in 12.53 because the car in 14.53 won't have the time to reach its maximum speed. In contrast to the first track, here we can see that there is a lot of very wide areas that don't require you to slow down much. Here, someone with a high gear ratio will be at a disadvantage as he'll be limited by his maximum speed. The person with the 14.53 gear ratio will this time have more time to accelerate, will be faster than the person in 12.53. The last reason to reduce your speed is to increase your regularity. Indeed, the key to achieving better results is constancy. If you tend to make a lot of errors, you'll gain more by limiting your speed and therefore making fewer mistakes.